There are a few things that you're going to need for this class. One is you're going to need some headphones because mm, you're watching a video, so you don't really want to be disturbing those around you. So please make sure you bring some sort of headphones for that. Um, also, you're going to make a student nameplate, and it is required that you post the student nameplate clearly on your computer. You can just kind of like take your sign, and there's a little slot in between the computer there that you can stick that in. Uh, if you forget your nameplate, um, you can just make one on a piece of paper and stick it in, but you do need to have your name clearly displayed at all class periods, especially since we only meet once a week. Um, it really will help me to learn your name. Um, so please, make sure that's up. If you don't have it up, if you don't have a sign, uh, you will be asked to leave. So please just put your name sign up. The other thing is we use Google Docs. Now, if you go to your um, Fresno State Mail, uh, it's a Gmail really, even though it's mail at fresnostate.edu, um, you'll be able to access your Google Drive through there. So it's drive.google.com. However, Mm, you may want to consider just using your own personal Gmail. It doesn't matter to us if you use your Fresno State account or your personal Gmail account, uh, but eventually your Fresno State account is going to be deleted. So if you at all think that you might want to take the work that you do in this class and five years from now be using some of that, then you might want to consider doing that on your own Google account rather than your Fresno State account. So again, that is up to you, um, but just kind of a word of caution that eventually your account will be deleted. We also are going to be using Twitter, but we're using it for professional purposes. And at first that probably seems really crazy, um, but really I believe that is the best professional development tool. And so we're going to be doing quite a few Twitter activities, so make sure that you um, are doing those. And of course, you need to provide evidence of your Twitter activities. And you're going to be using this for professional purposes, so please choose a Twitter handle that has a professional name. Um, I have more than one Twitter handle. I have one where I can post pictures of my kids and food and other ones that I post about teaching. So remember, people follow you for a reason. And so the reason in this case should be for becoming a better teacher. So you're going to want a Twitter handle just for that purpose. Um, also for this course, not optional is you will be using the Google community. And everything that we do in here is really we do it on purpose. We intentionally plan out all the different things. Um, you know, sometimes things don't work out the way we want it to, but we did really think about and intentionally decide what it is that we're going to include and we have a reason behind it. So not to just give you another place to check, but the Google community should serve as a really nice place for you to make connections with other students in the class, um, hopefully build some lifelong friendships that will help you um, in your teaching career. It's always nice to have people to call on. But also just as you have questions, um, things that you want to get some help on, opinions, things you want to share, the Google community is a great place for that. Um, also, I do post announcements to the Google community, and you are expected to um, read those, and, and that's going to be an official place for us to post announcements. So uh, make sure that you uh, check it twice a week, uh, at least twice a week, and uh, we want you to post in there twice a week.